Hey everybody, welcome to some Let's Stream Hotline Miami 2. Wrong number. With your host, as always, Madri Brand, returning special guest co-host, Brandon War Zero. Hey. So, um, I haven't played Hotline Miami 2 yet. I beat Hotline Miami 1 a couple times, including most recently I beat it again two days ago, three days ago. Uh, yep. Brandon has beaten both games. Um, yeah. And I've heard a lot of things about Hotline Miami 2 from a gameplay standpoint. Uh, some people like it more, some people like it less. I've heard kind of the complaints in general, but I don't know any of the plot. But I really like the plot of the first game, not the secret ending. Secret ending sucks, regular ending is great. So I'm really, really jazzed to play this game. I've been really excited. Uh, Brandon's in the camp of this game isn't as good. And I've yeah. definitely heard a lot of gameplay complaints that sound very valid to me. I guess we'll see where I land on the uh, spectrum of enjoyment of the game, but I'm really excited. I've been waiting a long time to play this now. It's gonna yeah, be a man, short stream today. It's only gonna be about an hour, but let's see how this goes. Yeah. So there was like a little tutorial thing on the first boot of the game, but I actually just like closed the game and then reopened it so I could do my settings and set it up for the stream, but it looks like it may have yeah, it looks like it actually skipped that. Whatever, I'm sure I didn't miss out on much. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, and I'll actually be, like, stopping and reading the text this time on, like, the really recent stream through of Hotline Miami. Hotline Miami, link in the description. Uh, because that one I had beaten a thousand times, and this one I haven't played. So, kind of want to see the plot. Yeah. Parties, this map actually looks really familiar. Well, it's because a lot of the assets are the same, right? Oh, you know what? Also, it's because it was in the trailer. The first trailer for the game that I saw way back when it came out uh, had this exact scene. Oh. Uh, who invited all these morons? Everyone's got the masks on. Wow, that bear guy is overweight. Yeah. Uh, what do you guys think about tonight? We gonna do it? This is an orgy, isn't butt. it? I think it's doing the butt. Yeah, it's an orgy. It's definitely an orgy. This Hotline <laughs> Miami is known for its orgies. See why not? Sick of this shit. Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna guess they're gonna kill everyone at this party. We'll see. Oh, which one am I playing? I'm playing as the swan? Uh, I believe they're ducks. I can tell you right now, this song is kinda shit. Oh, new song. I can't even read that text. Okay, so, Cory. Gives you a roll dodge. Okay. Oh, yes. I remember Boring. hearing something about a roll dodge being a new mechanic in this game, and I heard so many complaints about it being like really spotty or something. You're about to get right into the most broken thing ever called Ooh. the door. Okay, so yeah, you told me in the previous, uh, in the, in the Hotline Miami playthrough, when I asked you if the, they got the door mechanics any better in this game, you told me they did it worse. Yes. Okay. The doors are more dangerous in this game because if a, if one of the like one of the enemies gets stuck in a doorway, if you go near them, they will kill you, and they're stuck in the door. So you have to find a way to kill them from long range, or they're just going to kill you. They like spin around; it's very weird, and then out of nowhere, you're dead. The picking up range seems to be a bit shorter in this game. I'm gonna have to get used to that. Whoa. He fucked me up. Don't forget, there's probably secrets in this one too, just like the last one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you know for sure? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. But probably, if they're gonna have secrets in the first one, why not the second? Actually, you could probably check by pausing the game. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, God, this is a really cool pause menu, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, rewind, I'm guessing, is retry config. No? Okay, I don't I see, uh, I don't see it on that. Chat will confirm or deny for us, because I already know some people in the chat have played this game. Yeah. Yeah, this song's good. It's picking up. It's definitely really different from songs that they had in the uh, first one, though. Yeah, I'm just listening to Knock Knock again. <laughs> Don't blame you. That, that song's amazing. This pistol is actually really good. They made the pistol not shit. The pistol yeah. in the previous game didn't always kill on hit, so it was really iffy. This one doesn't always kill on hits, but it's more reliable. Um. There's no secrets. No secrets. Okay. According to who the hell Felix. is left? I don't There's see a guy anyone up in the room above oh, you. Oh, how did I not notice him? It's because he's standing in a way that you're not used to, holding uh, the gun straight out. Yeah. 
You know, I, it's probably, um... Probably really tanked my score standing around waiting. And you haven't dodged looking around. yet. Oh yeah, I didn't. I, well, I don't know what button my dodge roll is. It I didn't tell me. I believe it's the space bar. You know, it might have told me in the tutorial that I didn't play. Well, the tutorial, I think I was a guy with a pig mask. Um, mm. so I don't know if that's okay. Well, I didn't get a high score. Operate. I don't think Tony Mask. I guess I'll see if that operates the same way as in the last game. Which, if so, wouldn't surprise me because that was early in uh. the game too. Oh, I'm the bear now, or is it a bull? It's just because this is a cutscene. It's a bear. Hi guys! It's, well, it's, this looks like a tense situation. It's the Mark's a... mask. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> Fuck. Happy Halloween, sir! You ordered three pizzas, right? You know They're that's the voice they had in mind. Yep. 100%. Three pizzas is only 14 and a half bucks? What's it made of? Wow. Cardboard? Jesus. Well, actually, wait, is, does this is, also take place in the late 80s, early 90s? Because that I, price might have actually been okay back then. I think then. it's a while ago. Okay, yeah, the, the dollar was worth more back then, I'm sure. Uh, enjoy your meal and watch out for ghosts tonight. Is it Halloween, or are you just a weird guy? I think it's. I think he said Happy Halloween or something. Oh, I, you know what? I bet you I just read him saying Happy Halloween, and I've already forgotten. Yeah. I'm I'm really trying to pay attention to the time because I know we can't go for too long. It's 1991. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so that makes sense. Because this is another new guy. Uh, seems calm as usual today. Uh, hearings complete silent. Uh, sisters outside the courthouse continued loudly. So I'm kind of piecing up the or piecing together the plot here. So I think I actually read that just by clicking. Or did that automatically happen, and I just happened to click at the same time? I don't know. Oh, I'm in a diner. I thought I was in my house. No. Oh, I was going to go back to the fry cook. But even already, you have the exact same face and only different hair from the prostitute from the first game. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Whoa, you're right. You don't look too good. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Uh, it's been a stressful day. I wouldn't believe what they've had me doing. Nah, 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 nah. I bet he's a murderer. <laughs> <laughs> you should probably go home and get some sleep. Have a nice night. You too, sweetheart. Hold on. Gotta check for sewer grates. Nope. It's just a horrible multicolored void. Okay. <laughs> Right when you leave I every can't read right, that right when font. you leave every building, you are uh -oh. tripping on acid. Brandon, I have the ability to punch. That means I'm gonna kill people today. Wait, don't go in the building. Ah! Yet. Why? <laughs> because oh oh. Was because there a you secret? Can, you can open your trunk. Oh, there was a sea crest. Okay, I got it. It's okay, I rewound. Nice! How did you know you could do that? I've I played the game a little bit. Man, that's cool. Yeah. All right. I was going to say, if I really did go in here with the intention of killing people, it's weird that I didn't bring a weapon. Mm -hmm. But then again, is that not the hotline in Miami? Oh, well, yeah, I kind of deserved that one. Yeah, this map's a little bit weird. This is one of the problems with this game that I find. This map is huge, and there's a lot of wide open areas where they can all hit you. Yeah, I was going to say, this is uh, way more difficult in the beginning than the first game like it's just it feels kind of unfair because they can see you from such a distance shit okay better idea <laughs> was better i just one-handing a shotgun for a second yep it's just a slight animation trick interesting ah oh, that almost worked too you should get really lucky that he did not get stuck in that doorway. Because it looked like it was going to happen. Super fun! It's hard to tell what blocks shots and what doesn't. I, I guess this thing does? Um, it's very hard to tell. Why do I consistently one-hand a shotgun at first? What is with I, that? I think it's just the pickup animation for this character. Oh. I guess. Alright, I found the way to do it. That was actually not that hard once I figured it out. The looking around is really useful in this one. Yeah. Unlike the others. I 
kind of like the pistol. Um, it's 15 shots and it seems to one shot kill. It can fail. Okay, that's good to know. It's just more consistent than it used to be. I love the idea of a criminal coming in to kill a bunch of people and deciding to throw his pistol at individual enemies in rooms to save on ammo. <laughs> well, you know, you save on ammo that way and you get to squish their heads with your foot. <laughs> Why isn't that a Payday 2 tactic? Because you can't throw your weapons in Payday 2. They only added throwable weapons like after the beginning. This room's clear. Um, and the throwable weapons end up ruining most missions. Did I, uh... <laughs> no, there's a door in the way. Silly me. <laughs> well... Pretty much all the guns got a little bit buffed in this game. They all Yay! do a little bit better. Level right. clear! I gotta Beyblade my way out of here. So, I'm not wearing a mask. No. Huh. Okay. I guess I'll see where that's... Okay! Okay! I'm glad I spotted that. <laughs> Did they not see me through the glass door? <laughs> um, they might have. Hi, guys. Ready? Now, Brandon... I see a logistical problem with this situation. <laughs> that door is glass. Yeah. Oh, it's bulletproof, I guess. It's nice that you're shooting. It's nice. Nice. What? Yeah. I'm a detective. Here's my badge. Oh. Well, that was confusing. <laughs> Weird, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, Why did they not just put me in a cutscene when I walked up to the door? That I way I know. couldn't have had the opportunity to do that and break my immersion. <laughs> Shoot them and be like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Wait, what the fuck? Why aren't they dying? I feel like the forensics department is going to figure out that they didn't kill each other in there. <laughs> well, especially considering you came out with a gun and then threw it. Threw it under a car or <laughs> something. I don't know where it went, but I'm sure they saw it. Oh, a C. Yeah, it was pretty bad. I guess they escorted you home. I'll probably redo some of these maps after... Um... After yeah. the stream, just redo some of the ones I've already done so that I can get a high score, unlock get more weapons, or whatever you get for it. I'm sure there's some incentive. Hi, did I contaminate the crime scene by stepping on the corpse? <laughs> yes, yes you did. Are you allowed to have sweet fucking mutton shops in the MPD? Yeah. Your facial hair is not a constraint when you're part of a police department in the states i thought it was in the states i know in canada you can have a beard as long as it's like trimmed you can have one in the states too as long as it's not too long because if it gets too long somebody can pull it hmm that yeah, makes sense in india they pay you more as a cop if you have a mustache i'm not joking you actually get a small raise for it because they proved in polls that in india people are more less willing to listen to authority if they have a mustache so cops have an incentive to grow a mustache. It's kind of like in it. Canada, where if you have a horse, people are more willing to listen to you, which is an actual statistic, oddly enough. So yeah, you can have, if you have a horse, uh, they're more willing to listen to you. Huh. Uh, message and all. I'm innocent. They forced me to do it. Yeah, right. I haven't heard that before. To be fair, to be fair, the people in the masks who are doing these killings with the phone calls are using the Nuremberg defense, which is not valid in court. <laughs> Ew, I was ordered to do it is not a valid defense. You still chose to do it. Yep. 
The only way you can get away with that is if they were like holding a gun to your head and they were like, you fucking do this. Yeah. But still, you're not allowed to kill another person uh, to do it's it. It's still, exactly, and that's why it didn't work with Nuremberg, is they were killing people, and yeah, you're punishable by death if you didn't do it, but you were then choosing to kill many people instead of your one life, so you still go to jail. Yep. Um, well, that guy must be some kind of psycho. Creeps me out. So, I have to say I'm interested in the plot so far. It's really weirdly talky early on, uh, but at the same time, I want to know, like, the, who these characters are and what they're, like, what they have to do with the plot. Like, I'm I'm most interested in the detective right now because it seems like either the detective's trying to chase down the guys we saw at the beginning with the masks, or the detective is with them and trying to throw the case off because we just saw him go and slaughter a bunch of people in some random building and then lie to the police. So... Yeah. It's, yeah, you look like you were born with thick skin, buddy. <laughs> it looks like your face is made of leather. <laughs> yeah, he's ugly as sin. <laughs> Got his throat slit, haven't found the murder weapon. No fingerprints, no witness, nothing. You do that. I'll head down to the station, get started in the paperwork. No, I didn't. F I don't think I finished the game on hard mode, guys. I didn't like this game enough. Crime scene. I didn't like this game enough to replay it on hard mode. <laughs> Maybe I'll love it and replay it on hard mode. Maybe you will. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Whose uh, fucking workout equipment is green? I don't know. I'm judging that corpse for his workout equipment color choice. But like, but like. Thinking about it, like the way we talked about it last time, the game is oh. about the gameplay, yeah, not the yeah, story. That is the most and this important. one's so heavy handedly giving you the story. That's the same rewind sound effect from the previous game zero stars, reusing assets. <laughs> He's reused like every asset so far. Was that guy just buzz. buzzing his uh, head? Yep. Huh. What's that green thing coming out of his crotch? I think it might be like a tie around your waist. Like, are you telling me he's got like the the stripper girl tied t-shirt thing? Maybe. So he's got his old midriff exposed? God, no. I hope that's what it is. No. Can we get like... fan art of that, please? <laughs> I think he's wearing um, like um, it's either like a probably a belt or something. I don't know. Wow. It's one fat dude. That is one ugly dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of people in these games are really ugly. <laughs> is this some guy who genuinely gets the phone calls and doesn't know why? Because that's hilarious. Yeah. Am I just gonna go to go there to yell at the manager? <laughs> oh my god, please tell me that's what's happening right now, because that's hilarious. Hard news. Jake, lethal throws. Oh no, okay. So I am in on this because I brought a mask. Sweet. Uh okay, this trunk doesn't open. Okay. So wait, then why the hell was I yelling? <laughs> okay. Oh. Soon you're gonna find out how they want you to play this character. Ow. Ow. Wait, wait, wait. No, kill me again. Kill me again. Okay. Oh, it is. It's like a. It's a green and white flannel tied around his waist. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why oh, he's well, he wearing it that. to do this. Ha! Ah, I'm a fucking genius. I can one-handed double barrel shotgun? Well, yeah, you're a huge fat guy. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, you do have lethal throws. You're right, I do. I should be taking advantage of that. They're silent, so... Oh, yeah, and there are windows everywhere. Yeah. Don't know how I didn't clue in on that one earlier. That's clearly what I'm supposed to be doing. There's like a very specific way they want you to play every level. And once you figure it out, the levels are like way easier.
No, oh, that was a miss. Oh, hi, buddy. That was a miss. Yeah! Listen, there is a guy over there. Now, with Jake, you can get double kills with his throws, which is amazing. I feel like that guy should have seen me through the window and he didn't. That was weird. This game's got a lot of weird shit like that. Okay, let me just look down there. Okay, I think he is the only one. Okay, throwing in doorways is a little bit buggy. <laughs> everything know. about doorways, everything. Floor cleared. So, do fat people just have the innate ability to carry every gun one-handed and be better that way? I guess. I guess fat people are just better at life. I guess. Whoa! Fuck you. <laughs> I'm just running around throwing a shotgun. This is weird. Yeah, that's a nice shotgun. <clears throat> whoa, whoa! Damn. So I do yep. notice that when you throw with the Jake mask in this one, probably for balancing reasons, the uh, thing doesn't blow through them and continue to hit people. It's got to hit multiple people on impact to work. Yeah, they pretty much have to be standing like right next to each other or on top of each other. Okay, that's some Payday 2 bullshit right there. That plant blocked my bullets. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Plants are fucked up in this game. There's a lot of stuff in this game that just doesn't work the way they wanted it to. One handing an assault rifle, no big deal. Well, you gotta understand, I'm Jake the Snake. Fuck. He's pretty fucking badass. Jake, put your snake away. No. I love Knock Knock. Such a good song. Aha! I did it! Oh, I actually came here for money. Okay. Well, that's new. They're throwing a lot of new shit at me, and I'm really, uh, I am genuinely quite curious to see where this goes. Because, like, Jacket never took anything with him when he left almost any mission. Like, he wasn't there to steal money or anything. Mm -hmm. He Jacket was just, just there kinda, to kill people. He just kind of came to kill people. You should do player-created levels when it's fully released. Yeah, I heard that that just recently started getting made where there's a... where they've got a beta create-a-level suite now. I don't know how they didn't do that in the first place, honestly. Like, this game is... Hotline Miami is a series that would benefit so much from a level creator, you yep. know? Irvin. I don't know what I was just looking at. Some kind of snake? It's a different kind of snake. Oh, I can just leave if I want to? Okay, well, I want to see the plot. Now, I don't know if you mm. noticed, but um, this character that you're playing as, this fat guy, seems to only have three masks. Yeah, I know that um, the different characters can only wear a certain set of masks, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Also, I want to point out, minor detail, but I just walked into a tattoo parlor. He's like, what can I help you with today? I want a tattoo! Yep. <laughs> I guess that's why he says, right, ellipsis, anything particular in mind, but I just get a kick out of that. I want a tattoo. Man, this guy is a douche. Well, I, I guess he is also a murderer. So. Oh, oh, tattoo. Okay, what do you want? This. Okay, how's next Friday at 2 p.m.? No, it has to be right now. <laughs> I get. <laughs> I love the idea of the point when my moral judgment of this man comes in is when he's being rude to a tattoo parlor receptionist, <laughs> not when he was slaughtering people. <laughs> You lost your little customer, you Russian asshole, wow. Oh, I was gonna try and punch out the window on my way out, <laughs> just to compound the douchiness. It's gonna be a super dick. 
Uh, next guest on the show. From such acclaimed movies as Blue Ocean. Isn't that a video game? The Calm and Land of Trees is Martin Brown. Oh. This guy looks like a psychopath. I bet you I'm going to use him later and he's going to kill people. <laughs> and your latest film is a bit of step new direction. Calling you a sellout. Uh, response to that. A sellout, huh? I don't have lips. I just have teeth. He's a fucking creepy looking dude. And is this supposed to be like a spoof on Ellen? Probably. <laughs> I don't know when Ellen went on the air, though. And this was 1991. Well, yeah, but... True. But this looks like the stage for Ellen and everything. I don't know. I don't watch Ellen. I don't have the TV. She does look like Ellen now that you say it, though. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say this is probably going to end up being a TV show in a TV show or a scene in a movie. Yeah, that was pretty funny. <laughs> oh, it is a dream. Or, no, I guess it could still be a movie. Why does that rooster have teeth? Is that a I reference? Don't, I don't know. Maybe it's a reference, reference to it, rooster teeth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Why does that pig talk out his nose? Uh... I don't know, but Aubrey looks a lot scarier now. Yeah. And so does fucking Richard. It's the teeth. It's the teeth. Well, and the fact that he blinks. Yeah, the blinking's weird. So has the chat said anything recently? Because... I didn't skip him saying that he wants to rip people's eyes out. Uh, and then keeps talking to Ellen. I didn't skip that. I fucking read it. Just because I don't say it out loud doesn't mean I'm not reading it. <laughs> I'm reading all of this. Was Jacket in the, um... Was Jacket being in the audience there supposed to be, uh symbolism for the uh as a symbolism for the critics who didn't fucking get the point of hotline Miami one saying that it's just a killing simulator because it might have been and that would actually be a really well made shot at them well it's interesting you didn't react to it then because i literally just said that the guy is probably evil and killing people so why would it be so surprising to me that he's saying that he would love to kill people God, everyone's a negative Nancy today. Yeah, what negative Nancys? Fuck all of you Nancys! Fuck! I'm gonna I rename somebody... all you Nancy! I want all the people- I want somebody new to come into the chat with the name Negative Nancy. I- I- it just scrolled past, but someone was saying that, uh, level where MDB plays a racist bastard. I'll point out that I am of Russian heritage, and I take great offense to this game, having a character that says, Damn Russians, or whatever the hell he said. <laughs> I take great personal offense on behalf of every Russian person in existence. <laughs> uh, better go along obediently. Take your tour, that's what you want, isn't it? Click. Okay. Can you please Hi! MDB that the level editor do MH2 is... Oh, is in open beta. I know. That's... I literally, I we literally just... already said it on stream that it's an open beta. <laughs> Today's a weird day. Jeez. And also, why is that cop immune to the door? I hit him with the door. <laughs> the doors are weird. <laughs> I'm just making jokes now. I, I'm enjoying the game so far. We'll see where it goes. Honestly, I should be breezing through this faster so I can do more stages to then replay and practice off stream. Yeah, but, you know, go through it at your own pace. I'm, yeah, I'm having fun with it. At least you're having fun. 